Hello, welcome to this review of LEGO Animal Crossing set 77046, Julian's Birthday Party. This set has 170 pieces, ready for ages 6 plus, retails for $15 US, and came out in March of 2024. This has one minifigure, and without further ado, let's get into the review. Starting off first, as usual, with the mini figures included in this set, of which we have one being Julian himself here. And uh, Julian is like a kind of unicorn esque uh, creature here, being one of the citizens that you could have on your island or whatever. But uh, the figure itself here has quite a bit of detail on the torso area with this whole. Uh, like sweatshirt thing like galaxy sweatshirt thing going on here as you can see but unfortunately no printing on the legs which isn't all that uncommon for lego sets here so you still get a nice amount of detail here with the torso and the head is obviously a custom print just like all of the Animal Crossing characters across this line of sets here that we've been getting so far. And of course, there is a peg on the top where you can add an extra accessory such as this birthday cap here. And uh, it is definitely reminiscent of the Fabuland characters, which were anthropomorphic uh, Lego animals that was in a old Lego lion from I'm not exactly sure what year but it was quite a while ago but yeah it's a pretty cool series pretty neat characters as we've seen so far and without further ado let's get into the build itself so the build itself here consists of a handful of different little pods on these uh curved plates here which uh make up the whole birthday party itself but first we'll start off with these couple little uh, side builds here which you build and are to set next to the pods themselves as you can kind of see on the uh, box there so this first one here is a little present with some stuff in there if my uh, phone will focus here that would be nice but it's a neat little build and definitely a cool idea for a present that's brick built and you can actually open and put stuff in as you can tell here other than the little uh, like crate or box that they use sometimes but yeah it's a pretty little build and then of course this is just a skateboard with a bow on it it's a pretty neat skateboard if i do say so myself but yeah not all that interesting but definitely a cool little thing for like a birthday present and stuff and then the first little pod here i won't really take them apart because it'll be a little bit hard with one hand on camera but as you can see here, this first little pod has a few little presents on it, which is kind of where I like to put these other little presents because it kind of fits there. You just set them there next to the other ones and it fits in quite well, a little pile of presents. And then the second pod over here, I'm not going in any particular order because it's been a couple weeks since I built the set. So I don't remember the exact order that they're built in, but, uh, so going off of no particular order here, this will be the second one that we go off of, um, which is a kind of little blank area right here. And then there's a nice little flower, a couple balloons, and a light post right here with some birthday streamers or whatever you want to imagine that these are hanging off of it, which speaking of that, that is kind of the one little problem that I might have, like a little nitpick that I have of this set is this little thing of streamers itself. As you can see here on the box, it kind of uh, just swoops down and goes in a straight line, kind of like that. But from my small experience with the set, I haven't been able to quite make that quite right. It always kind of bends in towards that candle there. But uh, I'm sure you might be able to get that shape if you fiddle with it. And it could just be because uh, the way the string here was sitting in the box um, that maybe just 
kind of made it want to sit like this a little bit differently. So that could be a variation on whatever, um, which set you buy. It could just be a little bit different from uh, set to set here. But that's the one little nitpick that I have of this set. But other than that, it's pretty neat. And moving on to the third here pod and the biggest of all of the pods, because it's a little bit wider plate on all sides, uh, is the table with a nice little birthday cake, which I really actually enjoyed the design for and the part usage for that uh, chocolate frosting there makes it look very nice and the little like cupcakes and stuff scattered around and the cups there and a couple different colors of seats just really adds a little bit more detail and if you have some of the other animal crossing sets you can stick all your characters sitting around and eating cake and drinking from their mugs or their uh their bottle of mysterious fluid right there <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat little section, and I, I do really like that cake design. I might have to steal it for some other stuff that I build personally, and just some of the part usage for it is very nice. I just really like that frosting piece, if I'm honest, which I'm not sure if it's new for the set or if it's been used in other stuff before. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. It does have little pegs, obviously, for accessories and stuff on it to give a little bit of extra detail, which is nice. It's just a really neat piece, and I, I really like it. But enough raving about uh, the little brown frosting piece there. And onto the next pod, which serves as the other anchor for the uh, string right here of either like lights or strings birthday streamers or whatever you want to call them other than the light post itself over there uh the tree it's connected to the tree here which is a good use of that uh object there and uh this pod also has a little radio on it and some flower petals and stuff on the ground which is a very nice little detail thing there and I do really like the um, bottom of tree piece that they're using in these Animal Crossing sets. I'm not entirely sure if it's new for this theme or if it has been used before, but I just really enjoy that part usage and uh, the extra detail that it can give to your trees, be them um, for sets like this or custom stuff that you're going to want to use in your own builds. It's just a very nice piece and I definitely can see some uses for that and I might have to order a whole bunch of them because I like my trees but yeah overall as a whole this says very nice and I'm pretty sure on the back of the box it does show other like formations you can do with this obviously all these come apart uh, as you can see right there and you can conform it into different formations this is just the one that I went with here because that's kind of the standard one on the instruction booklet here if you can see that so that's why I chose that one for the review here but getting your extra little presents and stuff and even your character in there it's a very nice build it is a little bit busy in some spots like this the whole thing seems a little bit busy but I do like that you can conform it into different formations you can maybe tone that down that busyness down a little bit and it's a great set for playing around and stuff especially since it's easily customizable and stuff um yeah so i really like it and i have uh, another animal crossing set or two that i will be reviewing soon and i think i might end up collecting the whole line of it just because i like it and uh for 15 bucks this isn't a bad value you get a figure a whole bunch of uh little these plates here which were i think first used in the mario sets i believe uh, but uh yeah it's pretty nice pretty good value for your money i would say uh maybe another figure could have been nice but i mean not it's not that terrible 
for one figure, 15 bucks, and all this other stuff. I'd say it's pretty good value for your money. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say about this set. Um, I'm pretty sure it's available in most stores. I think I found mine at Walmart. But it's, I'd say it's a pretty good value. And if you enjoy Animal Crossing or little random creatures and stuff or just the interesting pieces and stuff that come in some of these sets then i'd definitely say it's worth picking it up it's a pretty nice set and i like it and i'm gonna have to go find a spot to display it now but yeah that's all i really have to say about this hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you next time bye